Hi, it's Peter here. Today I'm going to talk about 10 things that I think are great in Olympus cameras. Let's get right into the business. The size. That was the main reason when I switched to Olympus from Canon in 2014 was the size. I think it's a perfect size. I think it's a best compromise between size and image quality because, you know, you don't have to break your back when carrying this stuff. You can have really big lenses and you still are quite okay, but with other brand, not so much. Variety of lenses. There is a vast amount of different lenses from 8mm all the way up to 2000mm if you have the extender and the 150 to 400mm f4.5 Pro zoom lens. So there is the possibility to go from 8mm all the way up to 2000mm. And then what's really great about the lens selection is too that almost any lens that was ever made is possible to be attached to a micro four thirds camera and Olympus camera you can get adapter for almost any lens. And that's a really, really good thing. I have a several different adapters and several different vintage lenses just because I can, and it's a lot of fun. I don't use them that much, but still nice to have the possibility to use variety of different type of lenses. And speaking of lenses, the quality of the glass is outstanding. Most Olympus lenses are really high quality. They're well made and the image quality is top notch. And what's good about it is that there is also option to pay a bit more for pro lenses. And then there are cheaper options for enthusiasts and those who want even smaller lenses. This set of f1.8 lenses, for example, is a really, really great set of lenses. The Holy Trinity what we call them. And then the new F4 lineup is also something that adds up to the whole set of lenses. We got the 8 to 25 F4, we have 12 to 45 F4, and then there is a rumor or actually a product uh, development announcement of a F4 40 to 150 millimeter lens. So looking forward to that lens too, because I think that adds up quite a bit to the system. And then one really important thing, which is weather sealing. I really like the high built quality in Columbus cameras. And one part of that is the weather sealing, which is top notch, one of the best in the market. And especially EM1X can be dipped into the water. I'm not saying that you should do that because it has been tested, so you don't have to. So it's already done, so don't do that if you have the X. But that means, I mean, the weather sealing means that it doesn't matter what the weather is you're always good to go and photographing because bad weather is a good time to photograph. It can give you some really interesting images. And then the image stabilizer. The in-body image stabilizer is one of the best on the market. And that is so good that I'm so used to, you know, having shutter speed, one second, two seconds, three seconds, handheld, no problem. Especially if I have a wide angle lens, but with longer lenses to one second, no problem. And that is something that I'm so used to that I would never buy a camera without at least five stop image stabilizing. That's how much I love it. And I'm so used to it that I cannot live without it. And I'm glad that Olympus is still making it better and better all the time. And then customizability. One important thing in cameras nowadays is that you can customize it to your likings, the way you want the buttons to be. And Olympus is very good in that. You can do almost anything. And, and the EM1 cameras, for example, has tons and tons of different uh, options to, to uh, customize the camera. And even the low end or the entry level cameras like EM10 Mark II, you have a lot of customizability, which is a good thing. Then you, you can just, you know, set the buttons the way you like them. And I bet that there are not two similar uh, settings in cameras between different photographers. So how many Olympus cameras there are out there? They all most likely customized a bit differently. And that's a really good thing. Firmware updates. Olympus has had the habit of making really big firmware upgrades to cameras. So getting new features to your old camera is something that has made your old camera almost like a new camera. So many good improvement has been done over the years. And that is something that I really hope that OMDS will continue because so far they haven't, but I think they will. And I really hope so that they will, because that is one big, big thing that you get really good features to your old camera. And then something that you might not think is a really 
good thing about Olympus is that they have two flagship models, the EM1X and the EM1 Mark III. There are some differences which are not that good, but the idea of having a bigger body for the bigger lenses with uh, features that are more towards the bird photography and wildlife. And then you have the EM1 Mark III, which is a smaller body and has the AF for people. I know in this video, I made a rant about this same thing that the AF in EM1X does not have all the things that EM1 Mark III has. And I still agree about that, but there is a separation. And for, for me, for example, EM1 Mark III is a lot better camera than EM1X for two reasons. First of all, the things that I photograph are more people that I photograph. And then EM1 Mark III is a lot better. And then it's a smaller package. The only time that I use the battery grip is when I have a long session of portraits where I know that I have to, you know, take this way. The, I don't have a camera here right now, but you know, the portrait mode or the portrait orientation of the camera. Then I have the, uh, what do you call the battery grip and then it's good. But everything else that I shoot, I never have it because I like my camera to be nice and small. And also when I do portraits, I can take it off if I want. I'm the battery grip, I mean. And with, with, with the one X, I cannot do that. But I know that it is very good for uh, wildlife and when you're using bigger lenses. It's more balanced combination like that. So I think it's a good thing that there are two two different uh, cameras. What the WoW, oh, not the WoW, what the WoW camera should be. I would prefer the EM1 Mark III type rather than EM1 X type. I don't know what's going to be, but I hope we will find out soon. No idea of the timetable, but it has to be soon. I think OMDS needs to execute something and show us what they can do with the with the cameras. And then one thing which is really great for wildlife photographer is the subject recognition AI in EM1X. And it's not only the subject recognition, there's a lot of possibilities in AI. And I hope that that is something that OMDS will develop in the future, because uh, that is the future of photography is AI. That's my opinion. And having the bird recognition, I've tested a few times and it's marvelous. It, it can really nail the focus on, on birds. So that's a, that's a really a good, good thing. And guess what? There will be an extra goodie after the goodie number 10. But let's continue. Great service. Yes, I know some of you might argue that it's not, but I've had a very good experiences and not because I used to be a visionary. I still had a very good experience last year when my camera had a little fault and I sent it to Portugal and it came back in a week less than a week. That's a very good. And if you have their pro service, the highest level of pro service, it's only one day in Portugal in the uh, service facility. And then there is two days or one day when it's sent there. And then the next day it's coming back. So three days. And I think it's, it's worked perfectly. And that's another thing I hope that OMDS will keep the good job on that part. And before we go to the extra goodie, what do you think so far? What are the good things about Olympus camera? Why are you using Olympus camera? And then the extra goodie, vast amount of features. Olympus cameras are packed with features like live composite, high res shot, starry AF, live ND and whatnot. And all those are things that makes us photographers have an easier task to make those images because I think technology is there for, for us so that we can do things easily. So it helps us, the technology, I mean. And that's a really good thing. It's, it, it cannot be the thing that we rely only on technology. Of course, we need to have our vision storytelling and we know how to, how to do composition and all that. But the technical stuff, when it works and it actually can help us make images that we are not able to do without the technology, like live comp is one of those features that gives us possibilities that we wouldn't have without the live comp. And I hope we can find something in the new WOW camera when it comes. Some new feature that will make the camera so good that we do have the WOW effect when we see that camera. And it has to be something that makes us possible to do images that we cannot do with the existing gear. What would be the WOW factor for you that would make you say WOW when you see that camera? And here is the video where I ranted about 10 annoying things about Olympus. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.